Hey, Mud Squad, welcome back to another project of the week. Before we get started, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, live stream or premiere. Also like, share and subscribe. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make one of my polymer clay um, ink pens, basically. Uh, but before we get into actually how I put it together, I have, like I say, I have some examples here um, of some that I've made. And I will show you how um, easy it is to make. Um, you just basically need your clay. Um, you need a big or, well, it could be an off-brand ink pen, but you want the type like this, like you get at a hotel or whatever. You don't want these hard plastic ones. These will melt in the oven. You don't want these. Um, you can also cover your diamond painting um, tools as well, or your um, your actual um, clay tools as well as also. So first off, what you're going to need, like I say, is um, big pins. Basically, is what I'm using. Um, these are the big round sticks, or you can get like these ones that are come from hotels or whatever. You just want those ones that are like that. Um, it's hard to explain the type of plastic it is. It's like a malleable kind of plastic. Okay. So basically what you're gonna do is pull the ink cartridge out. Sometimes you need to use pliers for this one. Now sometimes you can pull just this piece out and this piece here, but other times you can just um, leave that and I'll show you how you um, put them back together in a little bit here. So we're going to take and put that aside for right now. Move this out of the way. I have some clay already rolled out. Um, you want it as long as, well, I have it on a thickness of a number, I think this is a number one on my machine, or you can roll these out by hand as well. Um, so I'm gonna lay that down. And then I'm gonna decide if I'm, you don't have to cover this whole piece here, which I'm going to with this one. So I'm just going to lay right there. I want to get a straight. Oh, I got the wrong blade. I need the long blade. I'm going to get a straight edge. But I'm actually going to cut this at an angle for a reason. It'll make it easier on the um, seam. Let's flip that over. And I will just cut that oops, at an angle. This will make it easier to. Um, Seal the seam in the end. Okay, so now the way you pin down, just pull the edge up a bit. As you get making these, you will find easier ways to do it. Um, this is just how it looks for me right now. I love this. And I'll just walk. I know it looks like the seams aren't meeting, but they will meet in a second. Just walk that 
that seam together. I'll show you how we fix the ends in a minute. You also can use um, your ball stylus to help with the seam. But I will show you another way in a minute. Okay. So this also helps with that for not getting fingerprints. I have a piece of picture glass here that I just tape the edges for safety. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put that down and I'm just going to roll that back and forth. And that's going to seal that seam. And it's also going to smooth that out. You also want to be careful not to get air bubbles under the clay um, because when you bake, <laughs> they will explode, <laughs> kind of, um, to the surface and they will ruin your whole project. So now I'm just, see how we have, and pull that off. I will just smooth that over that. Now I will just, I just use my, between my fingers to get the taper of, uh, Top over here, and then cut that off. So maybe the smaller that it is, the small much bigger. Make sure that the Part where the ink barrel goes back in is clear. And you have a flat surface like that. Now that's ready to bake. Um, and I'd bake this at 275 for 30 minutes. Um, and then once it comes out and cools, you would just put your ink barrel back in like that. Um, you also can, just refining that a little bit. Um, you can add other um, embellishments to this, um, like hot fix crystal gems, any kind of glass beads. Um, if you have um, little, what they call millefory slices, um, like this, you could add those. Um, you could add gold leaf um, as well. You could also, um, like this is a piece of glow in the dark. Um, I'm going to actually show you how to add raw clay to raw clay. If you're going to add the baked millefory slices to raw clay, you're going to have to use some uh, liquid clay adhesive. Um, because raw clay and baked clay do not stick together that well. Okay, so if you want to add some glow in the dark elements, is what this cookies is, or some different color elements, um, you can um, cut those out with like a little mini cookie cutter, or you could freehand them. Um, I'm just trying to um, 
So I, I wanted to make like a teardrop shape like this. I could actually use this because I actually like that shape. That shape's pretty cool. So I could go like this. Let's see, let's put this on this edge here. There we go. I could cut something out like that. And then I would just lay that on top of here like this. Um, let's see, let's refine that edge a little bit. And then you would just lay this on top of the clay, raw clay, stick to raw clay, and then you would just shape it around. And then, you, you know, you'd have a design on there. Um, so, but you would do the same thing with the, um, this piece here, you would just take those off. But instead of covering the ends, one of the ends like you did on here, you would leave both your ends open um, to do that one. There we go. But like say, these are examples. The, like this one is done like I was saying, how you can add the um, other pieces of clay. And this was just go in the dark stars, cut out, and little rind, hot fix crystal rhinestones put on them. Um, this one is a retro cane. So it's this one. Um, and then the whitish color in this is actually glow in the dark. Um, this one actually has glow in the dark through it as well. And then this one glows in the dark as well. This was the very first one I ever made. So I'm getting, getting there. Um, some of them, you know, and I actually added a hot fix crystal gem to the end of that one. So, but that is how I make my polymer clay, uh, glow in the dark ink pens. Um, and just ink pins in general, sorry. Um, if you like this video, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, live stream or premiere. Also, like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.